In this course, we are going to use the Canvas Equation Editor to take the online exams. In this video, I'm going to walk you through six quick quiz questions that are going to give you the time to practice using the Equation Editor before we actually take the exam. Here's question one. It says to use the Equation Editor to type the fraction one-third in the answer box below. So to get my mathematical notation one-third, what I need to use is the Canvas Equation Editor. So I'm going to click in my answer box, and then in the toolbar right here, I'm going to hover over the square root symbol where it says insert math equation. That brings me to a menu with all the mathematical notation I might need. I'm gonna click in the box again, and this time I was supposed to enter the fraction one third. So in my basic menu, I'm going to click on the fraction symbol, and you'll see it brings me to a fraction. Now my cursor is already in the numerator, so I type one. Now I can click with my mouse in the denominator to get the three for the denominator, or once I'm in my numerator spot, I can use my down arrow on my keypad to type the three. So there is my fraction one third. Question two, I have to enter the expression negative x squared plus three x minus one half. I'm going to click in my answer box, click on the square root sign that tells me to insert a math equation, and I'm gonna begin typing my expression. I'm going to use the negative sign on my keypad and the x from my keypad, but I need an x squared. In the basic menu, subscript, or superscript, I'm sorry, SUP, superscript, is what's going to allow me to have my exponent. So I'm going to click on superscript and type the exponent of 2. Now, I need to get out of the superscript to get back to the rest of the expression. I can use the right arrow on my keypad, or when I was in the exponent spot, I can click right next to it and that gets me out of it as well. I'm gonna use the plus sign on my keypad, 3x, and then I'm going to type plus and now I need my fraction. So I'm gonna go back up to my fraction symbol and type my 1 half and I'm gonna click on insert equation. But look what I did. I was supposed to enter negative 1 half or minus 1 half, but I put plus 1 half. I don't have to retype the whole thing. Click on your expression and when you see the blue rectangle, Click on the symbol to insert a math equation and you can edit your entry. So I'm going to click right here after the plus sign. I'm going to backspace and replace it with a minus. And now I have the correct expression. Question three, type the mixed number four and five sixths. So I've clicked in my answer box. I'm gonna click on the square root symbol. I'm gonna begin by typing the number four and then I need the fraction five sixths insert equation. Question four, I have to enter the equation 8c plus 12a equals 708. So I'm going to go to the insert math equation symbol. I'm going to begin typing 8c. Now I can use the plus sign on my keypad or I can use the plus sign in the basic menu. There's my 12a. Again, I can use the equal sign on my keypad or the equal sign in my basic menu. And then I'm going to type 708 and there's my equation. Question five, now I have to enter the interval notation from negative infinity to positive three. Because this has a parenthesis on the left side and a bracket on the right side, I need to use the advanced setting when I get into my equation editor. So let's insert math equation. So notice right now we're, what's, we're in what's called the basic view. Watch what happens if I try to enter a parenthesis using my keypad. So if I type shift nine on my keypad, which is supposed to just give me a right facing parenthesis, notice how it gives me a right facing and a left facing parenthesis. I need one parenthesis and one bracket. So I'm going to delete this and now I need to switch to advanced. So now when I type shift nine, it just gives me the single parenthesis that I want. Now I also want to type negative infinity. So I'm going to type my negative sign and now I need my infinity symbol. That's in the miscellaneous menu. I'm trying to click on my infinity symbol but nothing's happening. I have to go back to basic view. So now that I'm back in basic view, I'm going to put my cursor after the negative sign, go back to miscellaneous and type my infinity symbol. Then I need a comma and a three. Now I need to close it with a bracket. Well, in basic view, if I enter a bracket, 
it gives me both an open and closed bracket. It opens the bracket for me and closes it. Well, I don't need both sides of the bracket. I only need one side of the bracket. So I need to go back to advanced. I'm gonna put my cursor after the three and now I need a left facing bracket. So I'm going to use my keypad and then when I click on insert equation, I have the correct interval and I can double check to make sure they match. Question six, I have to enter the inequality, x is less than or equal to three. So I'm going to insert my math equation. I'm going to type x and now I want relationships and I want the less than or equal to symbol. Now I need to get back to my basic view. It was still an advanced view from the last problem. So I'm going to do that again, relationships less than or equal to three and insert equation. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to submit the quiz. Now, notice it's telling me my score is zero out of six. That doesn't mean I got every single problem incorrect. Notice how it says some questions are not yet graded. Since you were manually entering these answers using the equation editor, I have to go in and manually grade them because this wasn't a multiple choice quiz or a true false quiz. So some questions in Canvas can be automatically graded, but these six questions where we entered our equation have to be manually graded by me, your instructor. So just keep that in mind when you take the online practice or when you take the online exam as well, the actual exam, some of the questions will need to be manually graded by the instructor. So you won't get your complete grade automatically. You'll have to wait until I go in and grade those certain questions where you had to enter the equation. I hope this helped. Please let me know if you have any questions on using the Canvas equation editor.